The Flash is a student form for students produced by students. Students make all content decisions, research, write, shoot, and broadcast news stories they deem important to the ECU community. Stay tuned. Hey ECU, welcome back to The Flash. I'm Abby. And I'm Moses. Today we've got three great stories for you. From the anniversary of heart safety. To a teacher whose work goes beyond the classroom. And finally, a dive into the once revered teen center. We've got a packed show for you today, so stay, stay tuned, tuned for, for The, the Flash. Flash. Moses, did you hear about the heart screening that happened on Saturday? Oh yeah, I wish I had signed up. As an athlete, my health is a top priority. Well, you're in luck because Pearson can tell us all about it. 14, a ECB hockey player, Patrick Schoonover, passed away on the ice due to a sudden cardiac arrest. His family and friends have since started the organization called Play, Play for, for Patrick. Patrick is, uh, it's part of the Patrick Schoonover Heart Foundation. It's uh, free heart screenings that we hold at high schools throughout the area. Uh, after he passed away, uh, we wanted to do something to make a difference. And so we started the Patrick Schoonover Heart Foundation and we do these Play for Patrick heart screens. You come in, you get um, your blood pressure checked and you get a look at your heart called an echocardiogram. And we do something called an EKG, which looks at the conduction pathways through your heart. Uh, we started in 2015. Uh, that very first screen was here at Eastview in October of 2015. Uh, and since that time, we've screened over 6,000 kids, found almost 400 with uh, some form of electrical or structural heart defect. Um, if we find out that there's actually a heart defect, then uh, we're going to recommend that you go see a, cardiac, uh, a cardiologist. This is Pearson signing off for The Flash with help from Dawson. It's great that they're able to help catch heart conditions early on. Yeah, there really are some, a lot of amazing things going on at Eastview. We even have amazing teachers. Oh, are you thinking of any teachers in particular? Hmm, I think I have one in mind. Ben has a story. At Eastview, you can always find Ms. Comp in the freshman science classroom, but teaching isn't her only passion. Schoology makes it harder because now there's so much work to always do for Schoology getting it set up for the next day. Usually, I would like to write early in the morning, so I'd wake up around 4 a.m. and I'd write for about an hour before school, and then I would go and teach my classes. I started writing books when my son was in kindergarten. I wrote in my free time as a side job in addition to tutoring in the evenings, and then it became something that I, when I went back to teaching full-time, I couldn't give up. I enjoy writing science fiction and fantasy primarily. I really enjoy writing for young adult audiences, which is great because as a high school teacher, I feel like I have a lot of background of being around people at this age and in a way where I can be able to create a type of, an, of environment where I can have my artistic outlet and my technical scientific outlet and I've now written 10 novels, which I did not ever think was possible. So they have three that are in the works, partially finished, and I don't know when those are gonna get done, but they are still all lined up, ready to go as soon as I have a little bit more time. This is Benjamin Bell signing off from The Flash. If you're interested in reading her books, they are available to check out in the Learning Commons. Hey Abby, you got any fun plans this weekend? Yeah, I was gonna go hang out with my friends, but we don't know where to go. Dang, I wish there were more places that teens could go hang out. Yeah, I heard there used to be a place like that near the losers. Uh, I mean, winner's lot. Michael has the story. If you park in the winner lot, then I'm sure that you've seen this building. But did you know that it used to be a place for teens to gather outside of school and outside of home? We spoke to an alum and some city professionals to see exactly what it used to be. So the teen center was always a place when I was in high school that people would gather to play games and just hang out. And kids could come there after school, hang out, um, play video games, play pool, play ping pong, foosball, those types of things. It was, a, it was a safe place for kids to be after school if they wanted to hang out with their friends. Back then, you know, we had movies you could check out, we had video games, we had um, bands, live music in there all the time. Now that we know what this building was, we asked, how did it impact the community? It's nice to have a place where 
people could meet up and it not be related to any person specific or like club or activity specific or even like the mall where you feel tempted to go shop and, and buy things without feeling like you're just hanging out. So when you think about places for people to gather and hang out, not many places come to mind. I think it was a safe, inviting, friendly um, place for kids to hang out. Considering the seemingly positive impact this place held, we wondered why it no longer operates. I think the ultimate demise was just the lack of attendance. It is also hard to, to program for teens because teens have different interests. As places like the teen center have all seemed to fade away, we wonder if teens still need a place to go in a digital age. Signing off for The Flash with help from Saimar and Keon, this is Michael. Wow, I had no idea that place even existed. Now that would have been a perfect place to hang out with friends. Well, it still can be. If you're interested in this, you can contact our local mayor or city council to make a change. That's all for you today, Eastview. Stay, Stay tuned, tuned for, for the, the credits. credits. Hey, you see, welcome to Speed Tour of the Flash Studio. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. So, in here is our release really studio where we have everything. Here's our wonderful, luscious equipment, wonderful. Here's our studio where we, have, where we do all of our release. Here's our wonderful video star coming studio. Here's our wonderful teacher. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Now we're going to go down to the editing room where Avani's going to take over. Avani, go, 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 go. So, so, welcome to the editing room. This is where all the editing happens. We have this big brown couch over here and a secret room. And then when we go back this way, we leave this big hallway of all our achievements and stairs that lead nowhere. Piper's turn, Piper's turn. Go, 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 go. Okay. First we have the big board that we use to plan stuff. And then we have all these computers. This is like our normal classroom day-to-day -day basis. This is where we sit, best spot in the whole room. Thanks for coming to Speed Tour. Yeah! yeah.